Welcome back to my channel. We've reached the part of the news day that gives me a serious pain in the neck. And so I have my heating pad on so I can get through it. It's time for Fox Bites. And in the news today is this ridiculous trial that Donald J. Trump is still, I almost forgot he was on trial for this E.G. E. Jean Carroll fiasco. Uh, for a thing we can't name here on YouTube. Uh, but let's just look at this article on pjmedia.com by Robert Spencer. Judge says Trump could be guilty in civil you-know-what case if he gave accuser an unwanted peck on the cheek. This is justice, folks. I just want you to know he's get, the judge has given his uh, jury instructions to the jury, and it includes giving this woman a possible unwanted peck on the cheek. He can be found guilty of grape. That's correct. E. Jean Carroll is suing Donald Trump for battery and defamation. Her claims are based on her initial contention that Donald Trump <laughs> her in a Bergdorf Goodman dressing room in Manhattan in 1996. In determining Trump's guilt, however, the jury doesn't have to decide whether or not the uh, incident, which Trump denies, ever took place. U.S. District Judge Louis A. Kaplan has instructed the jury that all they have to do is conclude that Trump gave Carol an unwanted peck on the cheek in order to find him guilty. Yes, really. Is this justice? I mean, what in the world? Oh, although this is not actually a grape trial, a guilty verdict will be for leftists the next best thing to convicting Trump of the dastardly thing and will further their efforts to demonize and destroy him. They'll be able to close off any possibility that he could be reelected in 2024 without actually having to go to the effort of defeating him at the ballot box. Oh, it just goes to show that Democrats will stop at nothing to get Donald Trump. They just won't. And uh, there's no, apparently nothing we can do about it, nothing that Republicans will do about it to make all of this stop. These false allegations have got to stop. Uh, by the way, I've written a book about false allegations that you can pick up on Amazon. It's called Believe Evidence, The Death of Due Process from Salome to Hashtag Me Too. And it should be read uh, to understand the types of women like E. Jean Carroll that bring these types of false allegations against men in power. It's not like it's unheard of. It's kind of an everyday occurrence. But yet again, we are now seeing in our justice system more jury instructions that pervert justice. Why are judges allowed to do this? Oh, anyway, I'm going back to heating my neck. I can't take any more of this. I'm Megan Fox. Like and subscribe.